could this be the scandal that finally takes down the Trudeau government? Over the past few weeks and months, the infamous We Charity fiasco just keeps getting bigger, leading to yet another ethics investigation into our Prime Minister, sworn testimony in front of committees, and most recently, the resignation of the Federal Finance Minister Bill Morneau, and it's left Justin Trudeau's minority government hanging by a thread, forcing him to use an old procedural tool to shut down committees and stonewall an opposition bent on uncovering the truth. It's called prorogation. And it means that Parliament is simply suspended until the Prime Minister decides to reopen it for business or, and this is also a possibility, calls a snap election. And while much of the media coverage is focused on the ethically dubious relationship between the Trudeau family and the We Charity itself, and for good reason, it's also worth asking an even more obvious question. Why was the so-called Canada Student Service Grant, a $913 million government program, created in the first place? Well, the government's stated goal was to provide students with jobs and charities with, quote, paid volunteers, while paying the organization known as WE tens of millions of dollars to administer the program, which of course raises a couple of questions, such as what exactly is a paid volunteer? Isn't the very concept behind volunteers that they do things out of the personal commitment, their passion and goodness of their hearts? They aren't actually paid for the work that they do, otherwise they'd be, oh, I don't know, employees? And as for providing students with summer jobs, the truth is many students across the country have consciously turned down existing work, some perhaps out of legitimate concerns surrounding health and safety, but others undoubtedly due to the mountain of free government money that's already available, content instead to simply collect serve the emergency student benefit and the recently doubled Canada Student Grant. And as for actual charities, well, they do amazing work on so many levels, but they've been absolutely slammed by COVID-19. Their work is now that much harder to do and their fundraising has fallen off a cliff. But if the government really wanted to help them, and that's certainly a reasonable proposition given the current economic climate, why not just give them the $913 million directly? Cutting out the middleman and allowing each individual charity to spend the money in a way that works best for them. Look, even if you ignore the nepotism, the corruption, and the blatant influence peddling of this arrangement with We Charity, the student service grant scheme is still a colossal waste of money, distributed as inefficiently as possible. Seemingly set up with the sole purpose of rewarding the government's friends, the Kielberg brothers and their entourage through an inexplicably sole source contract to do a job the public service could have easily done itself. It's unethical, it's a gross abuse of taxpayer dollars, and with a minority government in Ottawa for this Prime Minister, it's a potentially fatal mistake. For the C2C Journal, my name is Aaron Gunn. Thanks for watching.